that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist, and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. Come on, our God is supreme. He is above all things. He is above every circumstance that you have walked in with. He is above anything, any excuse that you may have. He is above anything that you can name. He is above. It is because of Him. It is through Him. It is for Him. Our God is a mighty God. We can't say it enough. There is not enough words that we can describe that can adequately just express His greatness and His majesty. There's not enough shouting that you can do that will help you comprehend the glory of His presence. Man, we can do a sermon series our entire lives about the names of God and who He is, and we will not get through it. That is how glorious He is. And as I look, and as I read out of this place in Psalms 138, verses 1 through 5, David says, I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. Yes, they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. 